Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome everyone in today's lesson. This is a lesson for third secondary grade uh, English subject. For the first semester, the lesson is uh, Unit 1 Writing uh, from, from the book Mega Goal 5. It is prepared by Turkey Bebi and presented by me, Mazen al Harbi. So, welcome everyone in the class. Our uh, lesson objective or the things that uh, we hope to achieve uh, in this lesson is number one is to know how what are the rules of writing uh, if you want to write uh, an essay and number two that uh, uh, to appreciate the importance of planning uh, before uh, the writing process and also number three to be able uh, to write well or know some of the strategies uh, of writing Okay, so uh, the first thing uh, we need to do is uh, to answer these uh, questions. The question number one is, do you think it is necessary for people to share the same characteristic in order to get along well with each other? Why and why not? Uh, let me explain. So, do you think that uh, people should uh, uh, have the same uh, qualities? Not really. Why? Can you explain, please? Why do you think is uh, not having the same characteristic is important um, for people uh, to get along? Because uh, some people may disagree with you and say they must have the same characteristic, the same qualities. So why do you think? Uh, ah, yeah. Why do you think uh, that uh, it's, it's not really uh, necessary to uh, have the same uh, characteristic? For, uh, for, for myself, yes, I believe I uh, couldn't agree more because uh, people are different, uh, simply. Yes, you said that we should learn to accept different types of people as long as you re respect and like each other. You could share like yourself. Very good, very good. Yes, okay, so this is what uh, respect is all about, is to accepting uh, each other's personality and to appreciate each other uh, personalities uh, as it is. Yes, you can't, uh, I mean, uh, you can't uh, choose or you can't uh, uh, <coughs> control people. Yes, and some things in common. Yeah, could you elaborate more on this one? Very good, Daya. So, could you explain more about what do you mean by you have something in common? You mean like interests and hobbies? Because those are uh, totally different things from characteristics. So you mean that uh, to have uh, something in common, you mean uh, uh, a hobby or interest, maybe the same field of work or the um, uh, to share also some uh, of the things that you, you both like. The same way of thinking uh, uh, and also some uh, interest and yeah, yeah yeah of course yeah you're right okay yes uh, and uh, so you're not believing that uh, they should have the same characteristic but you are saying they should at least have the uh, uh, do not disagree uh, often and have the same way of thinking to understand each other or at least try to understand each other. Yes, uh, very good, very good, Aya. And I, I, I couldn't agree more. I believe uh, this is the way we can uh, uh, help people to get along with each other. Yes, if you can't agree on anything at all, you can get along. Yes, of course, of course, of course. You, and this is, this is what uh, a relationship and uh, friendship is all about, to accept each other's uh, uh, to accept each other personality. Very good, very good, Daya. I, uh, I admire your uh, answers very well. Now, um, uh, there is a, a very small message on people's uh, characteristics, okay? And uh, I'm going to read it and try to explain it as well. So uh, if you have any questions, just type it. And uh, after we finish reading this message, uh, I'm going to tell you what is the uh, uh, the next, next step. Okay, so people's uh, characteristics, there is a memory that always makes me smile with uh, 
consummate uh, uh, admiration, and that is the memory of my maternal grandparents. Maternal grandparents means my grandparents from my mother's side. Okay, it says here that my grandfather was a dedicated lawyer whose moral viper prevented him from taking an advantage of circumstances to make a profit. He was very honest, of course, and he was highly respected in Turkish court and had the reputation of being the most honest law specialist. Okay, so this is a uh, writer is uh, uh, telling us about the characteristic and the qualities of the grandfather. Okay, so he said he was the calmest and the most serene person I have ever met. He never raised his voice, raised his voice, and never lost his temper. Okay, this is I believe uh, a very rare uh, grandfather. Okay, on the other hand, okay, his grandmother was the exact opposite. She, number one, used to get all worked up about things and flustered over minor irregularities. And she also had to have everything planned just so and still worried about the things that could go wrong. She wanted everything to be perfect and sometimes to an extreme. Okay, so uh, now uh, uh, we know about the writer grandfather that he is very calm, very kind. And we're not making, uh, not trying to make any problems. Unlike his grandmother, uh, who's uh, very detailed, uh, like to uh, make, uh, uh, who, to get uh, flustered sometimes, and also uh, making sure uh, to assert that everything will go perfect. And so uh, the writer will give us an example now. Uh, it says that there were fine, elegant chairs with uh, brocade upholstery. It means uh, decoration on chairs. Uh, on the seats and a beautiful table, not to mention some exquisite, uh, exquisite mirrors. So what the grandmother does uh, does is that she had gotten uh, gotten it into her head that it was all useless because it collected too much dust and decided to sell it off to the first bidder for uh, next to nothing. <coughs> So when the grandfather came home, what do you, uh, what do you think he, he will do? He actually opened the door to the little drawing room to admire his creation and found an empty shelf. So he, uh, he asked his, uh, the grandmother where everything was and she very naturally, very, uh, in a very calm way, she said or informed him that she had gotten rid of it because it was uh, a dust magnet. So all he did was only chuckle, hmm, like uh, not caring, and then sat down at the table to have his lunch. Well, yes, of course, of course, I envy that man. And this incident pretty much uh, rounds up the amazing uh, symbiosis between these two wonderful people. Uh, in spite of their different characteristics, they obviously complemented each other in a way that only they could fully appreciate. And yes, this is this is uh, this is the beauty of it. Uh, not necessarily to have the same characteristic, but uh, as you said uh, earlier, to uh, accept each other and understand each other very well. And now uh, here we have uh, some important uh, instructions. Uh, I ask that I need you to uh, um, really uh, pay attention to it because uh, it's followed by a, a writing task that I need you to do, okay? So, uh, 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 the writing task is here we have, number one, think about two people you know who are good friends, okay? And then, using a Venn diagram, write the quality you feel each person has in the overlapping portion of the diagram, write the qualities that they share. And number three, write a short essay about the two friends explaining how they complement each other. So let me give you an idea about the overlapping uh, 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 the Venn diagram. This is a Venn diagram, okay? So uh, it's just a way to help you to see uh, how two people are, uh, or what the qualities that two people share. So what you need to do is uh, write here the qualities of the first person and here the qualities of the second person 
And here, in this overlapping portion, write the qualities that they share. Okay? So, it's a, it's a way or a technique in one way or another to help you to uh, find the, uh, the mutual qualities of uh, these two persons. Okay? So, uh, here uh, the uh, file will, uh, will give us an example. A perfect friendship, for example, this will be the title of your writing, okay? And here, as a draft, you just uh, write the, the first name uh, of the person and the second one, his friend, okay, or her friend, and then here, write the mutual qualities that you think they both have, okay? And also, uh, another reminder, uh, before you do all of this, uh, you must have a look at the outline, the writing outline when you're writing an essay, okay? And uh, there are some tips, uh, if I may say, that need to be followed. The first one is introduction, of course. Uh, I'm sure you're familiar with this. Just to introduce the subject of the essay, for example, if you wrote a perfect friendship, okay? So tell us uh, who uh, are you uh, going to talk about? Um, uh, what their names, where are they from, and just give us uh, an introduction, a proper introduction about these people. And uh, the second part that you will do in your writing, uh, an essay, is to choose the main aspects of the issue, the things that you are focused on. And for this example is the quality, the qualities or, or the characteristic of the person, because we're talking about qualities. And also the related ideas in one paragraph and support them with the justification of the example. Yes. So when you write an idea about how do you think, if, as you just say, how do you think friendship, uh, friendship should work is about accepting each other, you should give us an example of, uh, uh, for example, your grandmother or grandfather. This is an example. Okay. So this is what does, uh, what, uh, what do we mean by support them with example? So. Uh, not only uh, causing your idea, but also support it with an example. And last thing, conclusion, and uh, I believe this is the easiest part, is just summarize your point. The things that you have been uh, writing about in the previous section, okay, summarize is this at the end, maybe in one sentence, uh, one sentence or two, and tell us your opinion about uh, this issue, okay, so for example, and at the end I believe that we should all uh, uh, accept the uh, uh, each other and care for each other and uh, uh, yes, maybe uh, that's it. Okay, so this is an idea on uh, how to write an essay. Is to start with an introduction about the topic that you want to introduce, and also give us uh, um, the main aspects or the main ideas that you're writing, with also very likely to support them with example and then summarize it. Okay. Okay. Um, next, we do have the uh, writing tips. The, some writing tips. I know this is uh, uh, too much, but um, bear with me. We're going to uh, finish. I believe this is the uh, uh, last tip. Okay. So when you write a district, uh, descript, uh, descriptive essay, you when you want to uh, describe someone about people qualities. Number one, think about their positive and negative qualities, their needs, and the things that they offer, and their attributes to life, and their typical antidotes. So, uh, a lot of things that you need to talk about when you're describing someone, okay? And also here, express your personal feelings about the people or the person you're writing about, okay? So, uh, you know that. Uh, uh, his or her qualities is one, two, three. So, what do you, how do you feel, or what do you think about uh, uh, their uh, personality? Okay, and then just uh, yes, this is a very uh, crucial point. Do not simply write a recipe. This is no use. Okay, you must uh, describe and express and talk about uh, to elaborate more. And also here, vary the way you express your thoughts or memories and feeling. Use the expression, and uh, the book actually gave you some expression that you can use to uh, express your thoughts, to express your feeling, uh, your opinion about uh, the people you want to write about. 
Like for example, I think uh, she is uh, very kind, but she needs uh, to uh, control her temper. Or I have always felt that uh, he is a very stand-up guy. Or I regard him as uh, 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 a very kind one. Or he seems to uh, he show that he is one, two, three. So here you have the uh, expression that you can use to express. Uh, your thoughts about this person. So uh, anytime I think of and I have never and he is the most uh, uh, gorgeous person. He is the most kind person. Here you can add a typical person I have ever known or I have not ever met and etc. So only what you need to do is just to vary, very express, uh, vary your thoughts. Do not make the writing very boring for the reader. Okay. Use as many uh, expressions as you can to make it uh, interesting, at least for the reader. And also, this is very important as well. Use linking di uh, devices and uh, linking words that indicate similarity and contrast, cause and effect, or consequences, or reason. Like, for example, both uh, uh, what we have here: a variety of expression and words like "due to this" which means because of. Is uh, uh, because he's stubborn. There is uh, uh, he cannot uh, make any friends. This is cause and effect. And in spite of, which means uh, regardless of, and uh, compared to, this is a comparison. Okay. So uh, Ahmed uh, is not kind uh, or not uh, uh, doesn't have kindness compared to Khalid, for example. And as a result, this is also uh, consequences. And uh, both, it means if you want to talk on uh, both sides. Okay, so these are linking uh, words are very important. Okay, if you want to compare, uh, if you want to talk about qualities. Okay, and then plan your essay carefully by deciding what or who you are going to focus on in different sections. And then write the first draft. Then, of course, all good writers do this. Write the first draft, then read it and make corrections. Or write questions about things you're not sure about, okay? So you can uh, 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 overview it later. And then hand over the draft to someone else, in this case, maybe it will be the teacher, to read and edit and to encourage live comments back there. The last part is to read the comments and edit the essay. Yes, so uh, you get the feedback, okay? Welcome the uh, feedback to the end, right? Okay? So now, the first uh, writing task I'm going to uh, ask you to do is uh, to write about two characteristics of a perfect friend. Okay? So, what I'm not sure if you can, um, in one minute, you can, by the way, use the uh, tools you have here. So, this is, uh, this is the writing tool. You can uh, click it and bring it here and type. On both lines, uh, the characteristic uh, uh, you, uh, you need to, to answer the question. Okay, so uh, can you go to the tool and uh, uh, drag a uh, square uh, here so you can write? Can you add it? Let's try to uh, reach the uh, tool here uh, on the board if you can see it. And uh, drag it here, and you can't, but uh, you will I can edit all well. I'm not going to leave you, so you must actually provide us with ideas. So here we have, uh, yes, uh, loyal and honest. Very good, very good. Okay, yes, yes, just like that. Very good. Then here you go. The answer right. Okay. Yes, so you think that the two characteristics of a perfect friend, okay, is to be loyal and honest, okay? Can you elaborate more on this? How do you think being loyal and, uh, and honest would make a perfect friend? Do you mean that uh, you should not, uh, uh, the, the, you, uh, should not never lie? Or yes, yes, you can elaborate more. How do you think that being loyal and honest uh, made a good friend? Okay. And I believe also uh, 
many people uh, agree with you. Uh, yes, yes, of course, of course, of course, yes, very good. Because, uh, okay, because lies could ruin the whole friendship. And if you can't trust someone, you can't really be close to each other. Yes, very good, very good answer. I believe you deserve a uh, very star because you did an excellent job in your first writing test. Okay. Very good, Aya. Uh, yes, uh, the, uh, a very good answer. Uh, really meaningful. Okay, so uh, thank you. So, yes, uh, being loyal and being honest, uh, yes, of course, there is something else uh, I'm going to show you. Is, uh, the next task we have here, okay, I'm sure you, do, you will do a great job in it too. Write three sentences about providing a shoulder to a friend to cry on. Let me just elaborate more on this. So it means that what we mean by a, a shoulder to cry on is, for example, when someone upsets, uh, uh, I guess, or, uh, uh, or if a friend gets upset or gets angry or he feels very sad, okay, he would go to the nearest person that's close, uh, or the closest person to his heart, okay? This is uh, to show him the sympathy, okay? So this is what do we mean by a uh, shoulder to cry on, okay? So right, just explain or uh, what do you think of uh, that everyone should have or uh, should have a person to, uh, or a shoulder to cry on? What, what, do, you, what, what do you think uh, of this one? <coughs> do you believe everyone should have, should have a, a friend or should know a person uh, that can go to uh, whenever he is uh, in a problem or whenever he is sad? Or do you think that uh, nobody, nobody should care about anybody and just uh, be on your own? Encouragement, you mean? Yes, very good, yes. Encourage those people who uh, come to you, okay, if they need the shoulder to cry on, very good. And Of course, yes, of course. This is very kind, yes. And also to, uh, to show them that they're, uh, they're not alone, okay? There are people who uh, care about them. There are people who uh, they need them. Very good, okay? One more sentence and the uh, star is ready. And try to change their mood and cheer them up. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, yes, of course, this is, this is, this is why um, this is the beauty of uh, human beings, okay? That we understand, we feel, uh, we care about uh, each other. I think we, you, you nailed it there. Okay, so very good, Aya. Okay, here is your second star. No, no, it's okay, it's okay, you did a great job. You did a very great job and very reasonable answers. I really, uh, I really admire your answers, okay? So now I have, we have uh, uh, another, or the last, uh, uh, no, no, it's okay, it's uh, clear here for me, as you can read, it's okay, don't worry about it. Okay, so now we have uh, the, the last, I believe, uh, writing exercise, okay, so when you get this right, you'll be a three-star student, well, this is a new one. Okay, so the last uh, uh, writing test is right for the time for four sentences about school friendship, okay? So what do you think of school friendship? Do you believe that um, the school friendship are the kind of friendship that lasts forever? Or you disagree with this uh, and you think that school friendship is the kind of uh, friendship that uh, belongs only uh, in school and studying uh, all these things? Okay, so as you did for the uh, previous two exercises, okay, please again uh, try get a text here and try uh, and type the, your answer. Very good. Okay, so okay, so school friendship are usually the ones that you remember are uh, for life. Very good. Okay. 
I'll have a couple of things to do for sure. Yes, continue. So you believe that uh, school friendships are uh, the kind of friendship that you remember for life. Very good. And also, you can always trust uh, a friend you grow up with. Excellent, excellent. Yes, you, where do you get these uh, great ideas? Very good. Keep going. Okay, so uh, are you really the one to remember and also school friendships, you can't trust them because you grow up with each other, okay? And uh, the third sentence uh, is that they always have funniest memory. Yes, because, very good, very good, yeah, because uh, most of the time they are very uh, spontaneous. Uh, it's very uh, straightforward, you do not have a reason, uh, uh, maybe to pretend to be someone else or lie to each other, yes, and uh, share the funniest memories, okay, very good, and well, give us one more reason, and you start ready, so you actually provide a, a, an interesting thought and ideas about school friendships, and I really uh, admire it. Yes, and they teach you uh, a lot of uh, okay. Uh, yes, uh, welcome back, Aya. I believe you just connected with something. Okay, you you did a very good job. You present uh, uh, a very uh, uh, intelligent ideas about. No, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, I want to burden you. So your sentence you wrote about school friendship are very interesting. Uh, so you told us all that uh, school friendship are usually the ones that you can remember for your whole life. Very good. And you can always trust the friend you grow up with. And the last thing is that you always have the funniest uh, memory uh, about your uh, friend at school. So, very good. Here is your third star. Okay, so now your new rank is a three-star student. Very good, I did a very good job. But there is, uh, uh, maybe I did not uh, mention it, but uh, uh, there is some spelling mistake you, you need uh, uh, to, to check it uh, on later, okay? Like, uh, for example, this word, usually, it's actually a double L, the one, okay? But, uh, 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 but do, don't mind it, okay? Just keep in mind that next time, when you write usually, it's uh, a double L, okay? But uh, other than this, you uh, did a very, a very, a very good job, okay? No, it's okay. I know you are familiar, but maybe uh, familiar with it, okay? So, uh, yes, I believe you now and the fourth one. Yes, you are all waiting. Okay, very good job. Yes, and they Yes, of course, of course. Yes, yes. I, 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 I could agree with that. Yes, because uh, excellent. Yes, because uh, as you know, in school you see or you meet uh, all kinds of friends, right? And when you meet all kinds of friends, then you will have this uh, like uh, a criteria. Uh, that is in your head how to make uh, uh, a good friend, okay? So, no, uh, for example, uh, if you meet uh, uh, another person, uh, you instantly will know whether this person should be, whether this person uh, uh, should be your friend or not, because you've been so, uh, or you have seen a lot of friends and uh, a lot kinds of people and then you have, uh, you have those, uh, uh, let, let me say, a uh, vision on 
on turn turn how to pick one. Okay. So very good idea. You present uh, uh, you presented uh, an interesting uh, quote. Okay. I really admire your answers. Okay. So uh, let's go together. Move to the uh, last slide. I believe we have. Okay. So uh, here. So thank you very much, Aya, for uh, your presentation, for your participating, for your answers. Okay. And uh, let's before you go, let's just uh, summarize uh, what we did uh, for this short lesson. We did, as a reminder, we did uh, start a uh, discussion about pricing and shape of people's characteristics, and also we read, uh, read the model essay to answer the previous question, and also we discussed the plan for pricing in a state, again the outline, and also we both debated to write the target idea. Okay, so uh, thanks a lot for uh, your participation. If you want to watch uh, this lesson again, please visit the escape. And there are here the means of communication. You can uh, choose anyone uh, if you want uh, or if you have any questions. Okay. So again, thank you very much uh, for your attention and for your participation. And uh, I hope uh, you can join us uh, on uh, another lesson. Okay. Thank you. You are welcome. Ah. Uh -huh.